Hi, you guys. Hey, baby. Welcome back to the vlog. We are at the my dad's company's storage unit currently. And the moving truck is almost here. So, updates. If you follow on Instagram, I posted that. daddy's jazzed as am I but yeah the moving truck is almost here hallelujah the moving truck from Denver if you missed the last vlog you might want to watch that first to understand but anyways it's coming today I'm so excited that means we get the baby's crib we get her what the recliner the more thing. clothes a lot more baby stuff is in the moving truck. Our clothes, our shoes, our bathroom stuff. So we're super excited. Hey, mom. Hi. Can I come in? And come on yeah, in. Yeah, here. Baby. So yeah, drinking my at-home vanilla latte. Baby is so popping, y'all. It's a little chilly out, so we're all getting in the car. I just moved the jeep in there. That's true. There we go. So those are the updates. We'll keep you guys posted. Um, hopefully the truck is here soon. And that person's supposed to come with their car too. Oh good. She said she would tell her. So yeah, and then nursery set up. <laughs> we get to build a crib. Finally get your full nest on. Finally get my full and with nest. Plenty on. of time for a baby to come. Yep. 37 weeks plus two days today. Yesterday I was measuring normal. Last week I was measuring big, but I swear it depends on who's doing it. I think they all do it a little bit differently because I definitely gained another couple pounds in the last week. So she's growing in there and pretty much fully cooked. So exciting. So yep, yeah, we'll keep you guys posted on how this process goes. Wish us luck. Just finished up with the movers. Oh. It's been, what, it took three hours. Thankfully all of our stuff is accounted for, so there's that. However, the guy fell off the truck carrying the Traeger and broke our Traeger grill, so that's fun. These things happen. <laughs> that's what he said. No apology, just these things happen. Anyways, I am so happy and grateful that we are done with that chapter. We have all the baby's things. Now we can fully nest. Fully nest, we have T minus two weeks, essentially until I'm 40 weeks to get this nursery ready. So that's exciting. We're doing wallpaper next Monday. We're gonna probably get her crib set up in the next few days. The recliner's here, hallelujah. And we'll get her Nanit camera installed. And I think that's like the majority of what we have left to do. So yeah. yay for that. Daddy, Big Daddy, any thoughts? I'm tired and I gotta call these folks, talk to them about my grill. Yeah, and Anyhow, we will not be using. I'm not like all worked up about it because it is just a grill, but like it's gonna be nice about it. Yeah, they could have been nicer about it. Anyhow, that was really what kind of I'm thinking, off. I'm figuring that as soon as we have the rest of the stuff ready in the nursery, she's gonna be like, all right, I gave you all the time you needed. I'm coming. Yeah, I have a feeling of that too. Someone, oh, actually, you remember Natalie? Yeah. She messaged me today on Instagram and it's actually a really sweet message I need to respond, but she was like, it's been so fun watching your pregnancy. My husband and I went on a little date night when I was, I think she said like 38 weeks in a few days or something and she had a baby yeah oh uh, no idea and she's like my water broke that next or th that night after the date and she's like it's like our son knew that we had you know closed the chapter on our last little date and uh, she's like so go on a cute date together i was like oh that's so cute so yeah i think our baby will know once her nursery's all set up and she can probably stretch stretch <laughs> sense there we go sense the relief in our in my body for sure that all of our stuff is here nothing got stolen all in all everything was in pretty good shape so mm -hmm. 
yeah and then she will be like okay mom's ready for me to come into the world <sighs> anywho just wanted to give you guys a quick update <clears throat> before I get home and get in full-blown nesting mode and forget to pick up the camera again so we love you see you soon Okay, you guys, it's happening. We're putting the crib together. No, I went like this. This little um, jumpsuit is from Pink Blush McCrandy. They sent me a bunch of stuff to get me through the rest of pregnancy. I'm gonna do a whole little haul, but uh, in case you guys ask about this because you usually get questions, this is Pink Blush Maternity. I got a size medium. All right. Here we go. So, bolt, one of each fours. Can you get all those loaded for you? Yep. All look like that. Little washer, big washer. Okay. Holy crap, I am putting these together. <laughs> Crazy. Oh god. How does that feel? It's pretty dope. And then all these other ones just take a regular washer? Uh, those are probably for other steps. But yeah, I'll take two of those. Shout out Luke's closet for this fit. <laughs> <laughs> Just the shirt. Oh, you mean this one has a. Does it have a tag on it? So that there was, I saw them on here. These are this is supposed to be B. Is it big boy, then little boy? Little boy, then big boy. Little boy, then big. Those two are ready. That's just for when we turn it into a toddler crib or a toddler bed. Crib's like super hard to put together back in the day or something. Like... Yeah. This one is easy peasy. Mama! 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 Or is it gonna be Dada? It's probably gonna be Dada first. Yeah. Everything's coming together. Good morning, you guys. It is Tuesday. Your due date's one week from now. We'll see. Is that really? No, technically it's on next Sunday. Technically it's the 19th. So this Sunday. It's 40 weeks. This Sunday. Uh-huh. Well, that's according to my app. You know, you never know. She gonna come what she wanna come. Yeah. Um, quick little updates because we left this vlog kind of hanging. Um, I'm eating some chocolate chip pancakes. Baby daddy's eating a nana. Gotta prevent my fingers from cramping up all this tapping I'm doing. He's about to have a meeting, so let's get baby daddy's updates real quick. How are we feeling? How are we doing? Weekly takeaways. Well, for the last few weeks, it's felt like I've been ready to go out game day 24-7. <laughs> nervous. I'm anxious, like, in a good way. That's all coming from, like, that excited pre-game feeling. Totally. And unlike pre-game, you know when the game's going to be. And so you right. ramp up and then get it out. This, you just have no idea. But yeah, I mean, it's like baby can come early, which she hasn't yet. Mm -hmm. Baby can come right on time, which we don't know if she will, or she can be late. Uh huh. So I'm trying to keep my mind busy. It's hard though. It is hard. It's such a crazy limbo. It's like the most exciting present you'll ever receive, and you don't want to rush to it either because you know once it's here, it's like that's all you, that's all you know, so you don't want to rush the end of pregnancy. But it's hard not to just think about it all the time. Yeah, my head's racing. <laughs> yeah. I don't I know. Slept like, good though. Did you sleep good? Oh yeah, I'm sleeping great. Good. While I can. Yeah, exactly. For too long, it won't be just us anymore. Uh-huh. We'll have this little squish. Our little squish. You're gonna be <laughs> such a good dad. Thank you. Sorry that we keep shaking the camera. Hopefully it has been doing that the whole time. If, the, if I touch the table, it goes. It's an earthquake. Sorry, y'all. 
don't know. I just. Did you fight? Yeah. Go. <laughs> in the freaking zone. Yeah. I'm just. Well, I need to go upstairs anyway. Okay. We'll See be back. See you soon. Bye. I'm back. Ryan's on his meetings. So. Yeah, those are basically the updates. We are into the 39th week, even though you guys are seeing this um, in the 37 week vlog because I have kind of fallen off the bandwagon the last week or so. But I feel very organized. I feel like we have everything ready. I feel like my birth plan is solid. I'm gonna print that out today. Otherwise, we are just in waiting mode. I'm trying to keep myself busy with work and videos and content because I know once she's here that will all fall to the wayside at least for a little while. I've been playing lots of card games. We watched the series A Man in Full. Recommend. It's on Netflix. That was good. Yeah, her nursery is pretty much all ready to go, which I will show you guys in probably its own its own vlog. I'll do like a little nursery reveal. And obviously if you guys have been following for a while or started following recently, we moved in with my parents. So this is like her temporary nursery. So we're not going all out and spending like a ton of money to make it everything we want. We just um, are making it cozy and comfy and usable basically. We did do wallpaper that my parents are gonna just leave up in that room afterwards cause it's like an accent wall anyways. So we went with something that wasn't like totally baby themed. Waiting on a couple other things, but for the most part, we're keeping it pretty simple. We have her crib. We have a rug in there that my mom already had. We did buy her dresser, which we'll take with us obviously whenever we buy our next house. And we have the recliner chair, which is still up in the living room because it's the most comfortable chair ever. It's so nice to have it up in the living room at night when we're like watching TV or hanging out with the family. So we'll put that downstairs probably pretty last minute once she gets here. Yeah, her closet's all set and organized. Her Nanit camera's up. Like pretty much everything is, the curtains are hung. Um, so yeah, but I'll do a little nursery reveal because those are so fun to watch regardless. And I will link everything for you guys if you're interested. Okay. While we were down here, I thought I would give you guys a quick little house tour of our basement apartment. <laughs> Not really, but you guys get it. Um, okay, let me just put her bassinet little thingy right there. Okay, so we, you come down the stairs and this is our little kitchen living area so cute so we have a little ultrasound of baby girl here that was actually our first one we brought our espresso machine set a hot water heater of course my milk frother and then we have all her stuff ready to go over here so we have the bottle and pump sterilizer which i sterilized some stuff yesterday so that's still sitting out and then her bottle warmer this is the Dr. Brown's little um, drying rack because we're doing all Dr. Brown's bottles at least to start. And some binkies, some pump parts. That's pretty much it, but it's nice because we have two fridges down here. We have a microwave. We don't have a dishwasher, but we don't really need it since all of her stuff is gonna be washed and sterilized in that. And then this is just like the little gaming area over here. This is the dresser that was damaged so we did get a new dresser thank you to modern nursery they sent a new one right away which was super nice and then this is ryan's little putt putt thing here just left everything as is for the most part and then here is our little living room so comfy so cozy chippy's bed of course and then this side is to our room here is my postpartum cart that is going to go by my bedside very soon here hopefully and i did a little breakdown of this on tiktok and instagram if you guys want to see more in depth but basically i have all of my i have my breast pump my breast supplies breast pads um some sunflower lecithin for milk supply some lotion deodorant my prenatals and then a little baby section, diapers, wipes, 
etc some healthy snacks a hair clip chapstick um, and then lots of footy pajamas burp cloth swaddles more breast pads and breast pump supplies down there here is our room love these big windows it makes it feel like we're not in the basement which is so nice we did end up hanging our tv this is some more stuff that needs to go in the hospital bags but the bags are packed and ready to go um here is her bassinet this is so funny you guys but um one of our best friends got this for ryan as like a joke because it's a little pokemon squirtle um squishmallow i'm not kidding you i have slept with this every single night since he got it for us it is the softest comfiest thing way better than my pregnancy pillows ever were <laughs> here is the closet which i'm very impressed by how little clothes we brought um i mean nothing really fits me right now so that's a plus but here's the state of our closet right now not the most organized but it'll do and then this dresser mostly has my things in it and this dresser has mostly ryan's things so um, we were able to fit two dressers in here which is awesome because this bathroom is humongous okay here we are still in my pajamas sorry not sorry um this is the little station we've set up for baby girl for the first you know few weeks of life um if not further so we have like a little a whole little diaper caddy here with all of her goodies in it um the kikaru changing pad this i got from amazon and i will link all this stuff below for you guys but it's a nice little wipe dispenser that is just all white very basic not a warmer decided to not do the warmer okay i decided to do two little postpartum carts so this one once you know it's d-day and everything i'm gonna move this into the bathroom so that it's just all right there with and put a little trash can in there and everything um but again, I did a little breakdown of this on TikTok and Instagram if you guys want to see more. There's just the toilet room. And then here is the rest of our bathroom. So we have tons of storage over here, which is so nice for all of our extra stuff. And then I love this dark blue color. It's so gorge. Um, yeah, here's our bathroom. Here is our shower. And that is pretty much it. Now we will go see the baby's bathroom and the nursery and that is the whole house tour you guys okay baby girl's bathroom and again my mom already had this like decorated so cute so we pretty much left everything as is however i hung up her little towels how cute is this little lammy oh my gosh oh so cute and then i organized this drawer with all her goodies we have her shampoo and body wash, some other little samples that I had, some washcloths, all her little like grooming supplies, and then my sits bath and Epsom salts for postpartum, and then some more towels. So that is that. I just filmed the nursery tour and then I told you, I realized I told you guys I was gonna do that in another video. So that'll be in another video. Thanks for watching. Um, my camera's flashing, so you guys posted. Love you, see you soon.